Oh, welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go 10 hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Don't make assumptions. Be yourself around others. The biggest assumption that humans make is that everyone sees life the way we do. We assume that others think the way we think, feel the way we feel, judge the way we judge, and abuse the way we abuse. We are afraid to be ourselves around others because we think others will judge us, victimize us, abuse us, and blame us as we do ourselves. Market boys, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 63, NASDAQ off 16, S&P's down 5, gold contract down 80 cents, trading at 11.95. 80, silver down 2 cents, $16.80 an ounce. Platinum up 5 bucks at 9.77 an ounce. Copper up 6 pennies at 2.66 a pound. Light sweet crude up 81 cents, trading at $53.06 a barrel. Notes, 10-year note. Up four ticks, 124.30. 30 year bond down five ticks, 152.21. King dollar, King dollar down 367 ticks, trading at 101.380. The euro is at 106, and the yen is trading at 114.61. Our phone number is 877 927 6648. Give us a call, folks. I want to know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Check it out. SPY gets down to 224.95. Guess what, folks? No sellers. Bottom line, you did 68 million shares. What is that saying? That's saying, guess what? We're coming into Friday tomorrow. You get JP Morgan, you get Bank of America coming out at 6.45 in the morning. Earnings. I suspect these futures are going to be popping. And this S&P is just saying, we don't have buyers on the way up. You don't have buyers on the way down. So... You're going to see this S&P more than likely try to get into its highs tomorrow morning. That's your S&P. Dow Industrials, it's going to get interesting here to see whether the Dow can, in fact, get that 20000 tomorrow. Uh, the futures would have to be up a buck ten uh, in order to do it. We're at 19891 right now. Dow Industrials came down to 19770 No volume, folks. We did 798 million shares. So you move down. Had lighter volume, rejected price, bottom line, top is game once again. Small caps, IWM. That's now that, that. So you get the the Dow, the S and P's. They want lower price. The small caps did come in with volume. Divergence. Here we go. Small caps, 41 million shares, breaks the swing point of uh, 28 million shares, going into 45 million. So small caps, I don't expect you to see small caps at, at or going into the highs. Gold contract, what do we have with the gold contract? Gold contract today traded up to a price point of 12.07. We, it did not hold price. We are at 11.95, but what we did have is that you went higher, and you had volume behind the move. So it's going to get really intriguing here. It's coming into a Friday uh, of a long weekend. M markets are closed on Monday. Um, inside the metal market with uh, gold not holding price, silver not holding price, uh, dollar getting destroyed but coming back somewhat. You know, that being said, what I expect you're going to see out here tomorrow, you're going to see high volatility in the morning. But I do expect you're going to see gold higher as we come into the weekend. 11.95 gold looks to me like it wants to make the run up to this 12.21, which was the lows of November 11th. We go take a look at the silver market. What do we have with silver? Silver market, S I H seven. Silver market also had volume behind the move. Did not hold price. Silver got to a price point out here of 17.02. We did 66,000 contracts. Silver is building cars to get into 1696 to 1910. So both silver and gold look to me that, yes, they want higher price. Um, and coming into, this, coming into tomorrow is going to be volatile beyond belief. Bonds, 10-year note first. 10-year note, we did 1.3 million contracts. 
you're trading at 124. Twenty nine. So we did uh, one point three million contracts. Good contract volume. Uh, the ten year is trying to break the highs of the sixth. It looks to me like the ten year wants to run up to this one twenty seven oh seven area, which is the low of November 9th. That's what we're digging into right now. That's how this thing is shaking out. Um, King dollar. So check it out. King dollar. You talk about a move with conviction. King dollar, you know, when we take a look at, we, we want to start right from yesterday, too, because you're going to see the power of a move, and, you know, moves can't sustain themselves when you get something that is this fast and furious. So the dollar yesterday, folks, was at a high of 102.960. Bottom line, it gave it up in spades. It went from 102.960 down to 101.240. Well, Bottom line, today, and yesterday you came down with 74,000 contracts. Today we traded to a low of 100.700. We did an additional 53,000 contracts. So that is a move that's fast and furious. Uh, what we did do is that we broke the swing level of 102.295, and you broke that with 53,000 contracts versus 60,000. So this will build cause now. I, I do... It's in the lower range. As long as the dollar index stays below 102.025, you're in the lower range. What's sticking out like a sore thumb is the low that was generated out here on December 8th. That number is 99.250. Now, I know I'm coming with a lot of numbers with you. The, the number, this is the only number that you have to actually remember on the dollar. 100.600. And what 100.600 is is that that is the breakout area from the dollar in November. The dollar was in, has been in a consolidation since March of 2015. Beautiful consolidation. The tops of that consolidation uh, with 100.600, put 600. The bottoms of that consolidation are approximately 92 to 91. The consolidation started in March of 2015. It, broke out in November of 2016, and now what you have is this. It's building cause, folks, to break back inside it. And the reason I'm saying it's building cause to do that is that each and every time that we're coming down close to that 100.600 mark, your volume is expanding. It's just like hammering, you're on a second floor and you're hammering the floor. Boom, 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 boom. What's gonna happen? It's gonna break. I expect it's gonna break. I take, you know, whether it's a week, couple weeks, whatever that is. Bottom line, dollar wants lower price. You stay right there, folks. Come back when I'm at Mr. Larry Pesavento. Dow finished down 63. NASDAQ off 16. S&P's off 7. We're going to break back.